हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस वन अनदर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग स्टेटिक्स बाय मेरियम एंड क्रेग सेवन एडिशन एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द एंगल थीटा बिटवीन द टू पाउंड फोर्स एंड लाइन ओ राइट सो वी आर गिवन दिस फोर्स एफ एंड द लाइन अफेक्शन ऑफ दिस फोर्स एफ इज पासिंग थ्रू दिस पॉइंट ए एंड बी and we have to determine the angle of this force f with this oc line right so we can find the, that angle by using the dot product right so we can say that the f vector times the dot product with the unit vector along oc so this will be equal to f magnitude times the noc magnitude cos of theta and since noc is uh, unit vector so its magnitude will be 1 right so we can remove this right since noc magnitude is 1 right so we can say that f dot noc is equal to f magnitude cos of theta and we can find angle by using this equation right so cos of theta will be equal to f vector multiply by noc unit vector divided by f magnitude and f magnitude is known which is 200 right this is given so now let's say this is our equation 1 right so we have to find that f vector right the cartesian vector representation of this force f which has a magnitude of 200 newton so we have to find that f vector and the unit vector along oc right so then using this equation we will be able to find this theta if we take cos inverse right so if we want to find that f vector so we have to write the coordinates of this point a and b right so is we can see that this is the origin right so this a point lies on the x axis is right so this means that the x coordinate is 12 inches right so we will write that this is 12 to reach this point a from this origin we have to travel 12 inches distance along the x axis is right and since this point a is on the x axis so there is no need to travel along y and there is no need to travel along z right so the x and y coordinates of point a are 0 0 and similarly the coordinates of this point b so as we can see that this point b is located in the x z plane right so this means that to reach this point b we have to travel 24 inches distance along y so i have to write 24 in distance inches uh 24 inches distance along y axis and 8 inches distance along the z axis right and since this point b is in the x z uh, y z plane so there is no need to travel along the x axis right so this means that the x coordinate of point b is 0 and similarly we have to write the coordinates of this point c as well since we need to require this uh, we need to determine this unit vector along oc right so to reach this point c we have to travel uh, 12 inches distance along x 24 inches distance along y and since this point c is in the x y plane so there is no need to travel along the z axis right so this means that the z coordinate of this point c is 0 right so now we can find that f vector so f vector will be equal to f magnitude and times the unit vector of this uh, f vector so the unit vector of this force will be n a b further we can write this equation is uh, f magnitude and this is a b vector divided by its magnitude right so then we can write that this f vector is equal to this magnitude is known which is 200 right so i will write this as 200 and then a b vector right so we have to subtract the coordinates of point a from b right so 0 minus 12 so this will give us minus 12 i and 24 minus 0 so this is plus 24 uh, j and 8 minus 0 so this is plus 8 k and then we have to determine the magnitude of this ab vector right so that magnitude will be 12 square plus 24 square plus 8 square and then we have to take the square root right so this magnitude is 12 square plus 24 square plus 8 square so this is equal to 28 right so this magnitude is 28 so further we can write that this is 200 and we can divide each of these components by the magnitude right so this will be minus 12 divided by 28 i plus 24 divided by 28 j plus 
28 divided by 28k right and we can further uh, multiply this 200 with all of these components right so this is we can write that 200 uh, i can write it as 200 divided by 28 multiply by 12 so this is 85.71 right so i can write this is plus minus minus so 85.71 i and then this will be plus this is 200 divided by 28 into 24 right so this is uh, 171.43 171.43 j plus this is multiplied by 8 so this is 57.14 k 57.14 k so this is that f cartesian vector right so now we need to find this unit vector along oc right so we can write that that n oc unit vector will be equal to oc vector divided by its magnitude right so again we have to subtract the coordinates of point o from c and since this o is origin all the coordinates are 0 0 0 right so this means that we can write it as uh, 12 minus 0 so this is 12 i and 24 minus 0 is plus 24 j and this is 0 minus 0 is 0 k so we will write it like this and its magnitude will be 12 square plus 24 square plus 0 square right so this will give us that uh, n o c unit vector right so 12 square plus 24 square so this is the magnitude right so this is 26.83 this is this magnitude is 26.83 and we can further simplify this and OC vector so we have to divide each of these component by this magnitude right so this is uh, 12 divided by 26.83 so this is 0.447i this is 0.447i and then we have to divide 24 by 26.83 this is 24 divided by 26.83 so this is 0 0.895 right so i will write 0 0.895 j and 0 divided by that magnitude will be 0 k right so now we can use this equation right so i will write it is uh, cos of theta cos of theta equals to f vector so f vector is minus 85.71 i plus 171.43 j plus 57.14 k and the dot product with that unit vector noc 0.447 i plus 0.895 j and divided by the f magnitude which is 200 right so this is 200 So now as we know that the dot part in, while using dot part we can only multiply i with i and j with j and k with k term right since i dot i is 1 and i dot j is 0 right so I can write it as minus z, uh, 85.71 into 0 0.447 these are the i terms right and similarly we can multiply uh, j terms so this is 171.43 multiply by 0 0.895 and since there is no k term right so that will become 0 and that is divided by 200 right so we can do it directly in calculator right so i will write minus 85.71 multiply by 0 0.447 plus 171.43 Four three multiply by zero point eight nine five divided by two hundred that force magnitude right so this is zero point five seven six zero point five seven six right this force uh, the units of this force is in pounds remember right so this cos of theta is zero point five seven six and we can take cos inverse so theta will be equal to cos inverse that value 0 0.576 so cos inverse 0 
0.5576. So this is equal to 54.83 degrees, right? So 54.83 degrees, right? So this angle was required, right? So that force F, which has a magnitude of 200 pound, is making 54.83 degrees with this OC line, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this particular problem. Uh, kindly like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems related to engineering statics.